Hello and welcome to the Woodland Weekly for February 21st, 2018. Uh, I want to start off this week with announcing the March, uh, uh, March DD Awareness Month. So uh, in 2018, we here at Woodland will be very busy celebrating uh, Developmental Disability Awareness Month. Starting off with a, uh, an event on March 2nd, which is Read Across America Day. And so all of our staff will be partnering with the school to set up a one-on-one -on -one reading opportunity and a creation of a small book report. Uh, I want to thank Jennifer Gilden and Lorraine Flake for their leadership on that. We are certainly looking forward to the opportunity to spend time with our students. Then on March 7th, uh, we have a large group traveling to the State House to meet with uh, our local elected officials to discuss areas of improvement uh, in the system and the areas in which we need to grow our services. So congratulations and good luck to all of our South Africans traveling to Columbus. On March 17th on St. Patrick's Day, uh, all of Wood Lane will be out at Nazareth Hall. We are celebrating our Community Honors Night. Uh, nominations for the Wood Lane Awards are currently being accepted on our webpage and or uh, give us a call. We will help you get access to a nomination, but we look forward to uh, seeing everybody on uh, Saturday, March 17th out at Nazareth Hall. March 21st, uh, over at the Bowling Green State University uh, Bowen Thompson Student Union, we'll be having a community film night. Uh, this is a night that's uh, designed for us to have a panel, to have a discussion or a community conversation uh, regarding the, uh, you know, the status of the system, the challenges that we are faced, and, and really getting a chance to hear some testimonials from those who will receive our services as well as some family members. So if you're available on March 21st, come on out to Bowling Green State University Student Union. Uh, really looking for a, uh, a very uh, informative uh, panel discussion. Then on March 22nd, out at the Bowling Green Community Center at the Dolores Black Gymnasium, we'll be having a celebrity basketball game. So several of our community celebrities have been invited to participate in a contest against uh, all of our Special Olympics athletes in the, that play the sport of basketball. Uh, everyone is really getting excited for that night. So uh, that's uh, March 22nd. And then finally, uh, we will end the month with a 5K run uh, out at Levis Commons, uh, just celebrating developmental disability awareness. Uh, that will be Sunday, March 25th at 8 o'clock a.m. at Levis Commons. Uh, so we have a lot of activities planned. We are looking forward to uh, high levels of participation. If you have any questions regarding any of those activities, please let us know. And then uh, Special Olympics update. So a uh, tournament action for basketball has begun. Uh, so it started off last night with an exciting game uh, between the men's blue team and Henry County. Uh, the men's blue team was victorious last night, so congratulations to them as they move on in tournament action and their next game will be on February 27th. Also on February 27th, uh, the men's white team will also be in action. Both of those games will be out at the Bowling Green uh, Community Center, the Dolores Black Gymnasium. The men's blue team should start approximately 5.30 and the men's white team game should be at 7.15. Uh, so uh, as always, uh, we would love your participation and attendance to the games. And then finally, on February 28th, the ladies team will be in action against Henry County as well at 7.15 p.m. All games are at the Dolores Black Gymnasium. Uh, winning teams from the 27th and 28th contest will advance to uh, uh, Van Buren uh, for March 3rd and 4th. Uh, so good luck to all of our athletes. Uh, we are very proud of you. We've had a successful season and looking forward to uh, the upcoming contest. I uh, hope everyone has a great week and we'll see you soon.